Hello lover friends, 2023 is almost over and like every year it's a good idea to sit down for a minute, grab your favorite drink and think about what you accomplished this year. We like to do that here at Laval as well and I can already tell it has been a pretty busy year. Let's start right with our conferences. The year started with a beautiful Laracon EU in Lisbon. I was able to be there and the city and the people. It was really just wonderful. Next up in February, Laracon India took place, which I was also lucky to attend. It was the biggest Laracon ever with over 1000 people. Think about this, 1000 attendees, crazy. And I can tell you there's nothing like a Laracon India. Just crazy, but in the best possible way. And in July, we had the flagship of Laracon conferences, the Laracon US organized by Taylor himself, the one and only and this was in Nashville. I couldn't attend this one, but what I saw on social media about it, it was a very successful event with lots and lots of releases. We will get back to them later. At last, down under on the other side, I don't know which direction Laracon AU took place in November in Sydney, and it was also the biggest Laracon AU so far, so congratulations. In 2023, we also released Laval 10, a new major version for our favorite framework with a ton of new features, but it was also special because we added a lot of native types to the framework, which was a big thing and your IDEs will thank us as well for this. Now let's talk about Vapor, our serverless deployment solution for your Laval application. Here is what the team has built this year. Dark mode, of course, very important. Individual queue, concurrency, health checks to prevent broken deployments, two-factor authentication recovery codes, log and queue management in the Vapor dashboard, updated schedule to allow submitted comments and serverless elastic cache. Next up is now Forge, our server management service for your PHP applications. Here the team implemented Laravel integration, automatic project detection, PHP 8.3 support, Envoyer integration, UI cleanup, Stripe billing panel, manage circle invitations from the circle panel, Postgres 16, soft delete users, circle owners can create their circle servers. Let's move on now to our Laravel packages. Tim introduced Laravel Pennant, a lightweight feature flag package for you. Jess brought console interactions to another level with Laravel prompts, which is now used by us heavily in all Laravel tools. Nuno worked on Laravel Pale, which lets you see and filter lock messages through your console in a very, very beautiful way. Taylor created Laravel Folio, which is page-based routing for your Laravel applications. Nuno and Taylor brought us also Laravel Vault, which lets us create single file components with Livewire. And next to the traditional Livewire, it also supports a new functional API. Jess and Tim also worked hard on Laravel Pulse, our application monitoring tool, which is currently in beta, we just released it, but it looks already so good and we see that all of you already love it as well. Dries released cache here, Stripe v15 and Spark v5 this year. And all of those mentioned packages are free for everyone to use. How cool is that? And last, there is one more new tool that was introduced this year, which is Laravel Herd, created by our friends at Beyond Code for us and especially for all of you as well. There is no easier way now to create and manage a local PHP environment. And we have seen that you love it as well. In the name of the whole Laval team, I say thank you to every single one of you again for using Laval, for supporting us, using all of our tools that we create. We want to provide you with the best possible development experience. And this is also our goal for the next year. If you are celebrating, we wish you a Merry Christmas and we wish you a Happy New Year. See you in 24. Bye.